Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how to crochet this easy and quick hat. It's a straightforward project. I made it in just an hour and a half. For my medium size hat, I just used one ball of chunky yarn. It's around 160 yards per ball and 5.5 mm crochet hook, scissors and the needle. I have bought my yarn in Homberg Gains, so I will also make a review of this yarn. So let's start with <coughs> foundation chain. The foundation chain will determine the height of your bunny. You can add more or less chains if you need a longer head. So I'm gonna chain 40. So once I done, I can see I have 11 inches long chain. I wanna add two more chains for my job work. One, two. So I have 42 chains and you can chain whatever you want. Just remember chain is the height of a hat. So now we will start to make a half double crochet and we will start to work in the second chain from the hook. So starting from the second chain from the hook, make one half double crochet into each chain. And I will see you when I reach the second chain from the end. So once again, one half double crochet into each chain. And make one slip stitch into the last two chains. So one slip stitch into the last two chains. One slip stitch. Second slip stitch. Now chain one and turn your work. We will start row number two. And we will start row number two with two slip stitches. So we will make one slip stitch into the first two stitches but in the front loops only. On this picture you can see where the front loops are located. Let's start row number two. So first slip stitch into the first stitch. Second slip stitch into the second stitch in front loop only. And now we will start to work in the third loop. So where to find a third loop? Third loop is here. So here you can see these are back loops and these are front loops and here you can see the third loop and we will work in those third loops now in row number two so we will make one half double crochet into each third loop so not here don't insert your hook like that no insert your hook into the third loop it's very easy so one half double crochet into each third loop until end of the row. And you can already see our right side, how pretty does it looks already. So continue until end of your row. And remember to not skip the last stitch, it's very easy to skip, but it's here. It's very hard to find this third loop, but it can't be skipped. So once you finish chain one and turn your work. And now we will work in the back loops. So remember back loops, front loops. We are working only in the back loops. We will make one half double crochet into each back loop. So one half double crochet into each back loop. I will see you when you reach the second stitch from the end. And now make one slip stitch into the last two stitches. So one slip stitch and one slip stitch. Then chain one and turn your work. So basically we will now repeat rows two and three. So now we will make two slip stitches. Then we will work one half double crochet into the third loop only. So we will start with two slip stitches. one slip stitch second slip stitch 
and now we will work one half double crochet into each third loop until end of the row repeat rows number two and three until you complete as many rows as you need and remember the number of rows you add will determine your bunny width so row number five is repeat of row number three it means we will make one half double crochet into each stitch in the back loops only and then at the end of this row we will make two slip stitches in the back loops in the last two stitches so continue as many rows as you need i will see you when i finish my rectangle okay i have finished once you finish you will need to save your bunny closet fold your hat half with left side facing you leave a long tail around one meter should be enough and cut your yarn and start saving the side of the hat Use your tapestry needle and stitch it up as neatly as possible. Do not skip any stitch. The seam will be invisible from outside. Do it stitch by stitch. As I said, do not skip any stitch. And as you can see, I'm inserting my needle into the back loops only. So the front loops going inside the project. Once you reach to the top, make a knot. It's very important to make this knot now. And now continue with the current yarn to close the top of your work. Just insert your hook in the top stitches and pull. Like that. And continue all around. So insert your hook into the top stitches and pull. And when you finish, pull really strong to completely close the hole. And now make a few knots to secure the hat. And once you finish, turn your work inside out and make again a few knots to secure your hat, then cut your yarn and that's it. 
they are not easy to work with it is nice in touch and i think it's a good value for the money also i like this mustard color i hope you guys like the video if you did please leave thumbs up thanks for watching bye